How you going guys? Um, thought I'd do a video and just uh, show you something that I uh, I made and finished today. Um, you've probably seen something similar to it. It's called, you know, that the spa bar or the reflex bar where it spins around and you can punch and duck it and all that kind of stuff for boxing. So I thought I'd do a video uh, for those guys that uh, like to make stuff like me. I like to make my own equipment. Um, so this is pretty, it's pretty simple to make. Um, as you can see, this turns, you can punch, I'll put some padding, speed ball. Um, so what I did was I already had a base that I used, I used this. So I already had a spring ball. So I already had the base for that. I don't know if you can see the base down there. Okay, so I'll put another platform there to put some weight on it so it doesn't move. So I already had this. So um, I just went to Bunnings, most of the stuff I got from Bunnings, which was a 30 mil tube that slides in. Um, then I had some uh, 25 mil galvanized pipe with a thread. You can get them from Bunnings. Um, and this is just some PVC. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a PVC cross um, and some, it's 40 mil and a 40 mil um, pipe to fit in there. If you can see that. So and what I did here with the thread is, if you can see that, this is just another galvanized screw cap from the from the 25 mil to 15 mil, and I and this spring, um, the spring was uh, it, it's a trampoline spring, um, and I just cut it in half. I cut it in half, and I had an old uh, speed ball, which I used, and I just zip tied it for now. If you can see the zip ties there, um, and now the. the the trickiest part is the inside here, there's two bearings. So I've got the bearings, luckily they had the same size to fit, so they're a really nice press fit um, inside the PVC uh, fitting and on the galvanized pipe. So it's really smooth and it really spins nice, as you can see. Um, let's put it up here. Yeah. So what I also did is I had some old padding, like this, um, and I just cut it, cut a slot um, at the ends here, and I cut the sponge, and then I just uh, slid it on, and zip tied the ends too here. So, the zip ties. so I'm gonna tape them up over the zip ties, I just wanted to leave it out for now, I'll show you. Um, yeah, so what I did was with the 30 mil tubing, the 25 mil tubing fits perfectly in there, and I just welded it. So it's been welded there. And also with this galvanized cap and the spring, it's been welded there as well to hold. So it's really cool. So it springs nice. So this spring did come full spring, but I cut it in half, because I think uh, it was too high and the tension of the spring was too much. So this is perfect. Yeah, so um, if you don't have a base, you can go to Bunnings and they sell bases like for the big patio umbrellas. Um, I think the cheapest one is like 20 bucks. Um, there's steel, there's steel ones, there's concrete ones with about 15 kilos, 20 kilos. There's different, different ranges, different prices. Um, if you don't have a base. So I was lucky to have a base already and I can change these over when I want. So I can change this, put this back in um, if I want to change it over. Um, also with the pipes here, I didn't glue them in. I, I screwed them in because um, just in case this does ever break or something like that and I can replace these arms and I can also do a, a different variation of, of these. So I can put a single pipe with a smaller target here to hit or I can have two arms or I can just have one arm. So I can muck around and I can have different fittings with this also. So me personally, I didn't glue it. Um, I just put some uh, self tappers on the top and bottom. Um, so I can replace it if I need to. So yeah, so I thought I'd do a video. Um, so if you're handy like me, you can make this, it's relatively cheap. Um, it's probably cost me all up, I'd say under a hundred bucks, you know, to make this. Cause I already had the speed ball, I had these kind of sort of stuff. Um, and if you're handy, you can uh, save yourself some money that way. You can add a weld and um, put things together. So yeah, so that's it. So hopefully, uh, you can take something out of that, maybe make one yourself, and if you do, you can show me. So yeah guys, thanks.